Hi, I'm Chef Peter Sclafani from Rafino's Restaurant in Baton Rouge. And today we're going to do a dish called charbroiled oysters. Um, a lot of people are concerned about oysters. First of all, people are concerned about the safety of Louisiana oysters. And I'm here to tell you, Louisiana oysters are perfectly safe and they're delicious as well. Um, another misconception is that people think you can only eat oysters in months that end in an R. I think that, that those months produce the best oysters, but you can eat oysters all year round. They're good and they're safe year round. So we're going to get started on making the uh, charbroiled oysters. So the first thing we're going to start with are some freshly shucked Louisiana oysters. And now we're going to make the compound butter. It's really simple. We're going to take, right here I have a pound of butter that I've cut into some cubes. We've got some chopped garlic. I've got some chopped shallots. I've got some tasso, which is a smoky Cajun cured ham. We've got some black pepper, white pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And now we're just going to blend that together. Okay, so now we have our spicy tasso garlic butter. And the great thing about this butter is it makes probably more than you're going to need right now. But you could put this in a piece of plastic wrap and roll it up in a log shape and put it in your refrigerator or freezer and it will keep for a long time that way. Then whenever you're ready you just pull off a slice and put it on top of your oysters or toss it with some pasta. Um, we're going to take some of this great butter, put it on top of the oyster and now set it on the grill. This works especially well if you put this on your barbecue pit outside. That's really the way to, the way to do it because what makes these oysters great is when they, the oysters start to heat up and the butter melts and spills out onto the fire and you get those flames jumping up everywhere. That's what really gives it a great smoky character. Um, this dish was invented actually by a very good friend of mine named Tommy Satanovich from Drago's restaurant in Metairie. And they used to do a, a, a redfish dish that was uh, topped with this garlic butter and one day he put it on some raw oysters, and pretty much the rest is history. But we're going to let these cook. Now these, these are going to take about seven or eight minutes to cook on the grill. Okay, so now that our oysters have cooked for about seven or eight minutes, and you can see they're nice and, and bubbly and the butter's melted, um, we're going to mix our cheeses together. So I have a little Parmesan cheese and some Romano cheese. And we're just going to mix those two together. And we're going to put a nice sprinkling of that cheese right on the oysters. And let it melt. And now I'm going to chop a little bit of parsley to uh, put on top of our oysters. That's it. We would transfer these to a plate and now serve them to our guests. So there you have charbroiled oysters. I look forward to seeing you at Rafino's restaurant sometime soon.